This is going to be for page 22, topic 9, question 2. So our question is, a 5.3 kilogram mass hangs vertically from a ceiling on a compression spring with a spring constant of 720 newtons per meter. The mass is lifted upwards by a student's hand and then released. Calculate the net force and acceleration for the mass when the spring is released from a compression of 0.36 meters shorter than its undistorted length. So first we need to take note of our givens. So the mass of the object on the spring is 5.3 kilograms. Spring constant is 700, whoops, whoa, 720 newtons per meter. And delta x is 0 0.36 meters shorter. And what we're trying to find is F net and acceleration of the system. So in order to find F net, we need to determine all the values of all of the forces acting on this block and the total of that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to calculate the force due to gravity acting on this object. So force due to gravity is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity, which in this case, in the case of this part of it, acceleration due to gravity is going to be negative because we're going to make down is going to be negative. So we have 5.3 kilograms times negative 9.81 meters per second squared, which is going to give us 51 point or negative 51.993 newtons, which is approximately 51.99 newtons down. So that's force due to gravity. Next, we're going to do, uh, calculate force of the spring. Force of spring is equal to spring constant times delta x. Spring constant is 720 newtons per meter times delta x, which is going to be negative 0.36, not relative to the same reference frame as the previous step, because I said, oh, isn't isn't down negative, but isn't the, the student's hand pushing up on the on the object attached to the spring? Well, yes, it is, but we're not using the same reference frame just for these two steps, because you have you have your spring and we're compressing it, which means that it's losing length. So delta x is going to be it's going to be negative because it's it, it's losing length. It's getting shorter because the hand is pushing up on it. Whoops. And then from here, we're going to get negative 259.2 newtons. All right. So now we're going to determine F net. And now we're going to use the same reference frame like, we're going to plug these values in using the same reference frame, where I'm going to say, oh, eh, I'll put it up here. Up is positive, and down is negative. So F net is equal to um, force to spring plus force due to gravity. And in this case, it's going to be Force spring negative 259.2 newtons plus minus. Oh my, what? Hold on. I don't know what, what happened there. <laughs> plus negative 51.993 newtons which gives us a total of negative 311.193 newtons, which is approximately 311.2 newtons down. 
And the last thing the question asks us is to calculate the acceleration of the system. So acceleration is equal to F net divided by the mass, which is negative 311.193 newtons divided by 5.3 kilograms, which gives us negative 58.7156 meters per second squared, which is approximately uh, 58.72 meters per second squared down. So now that we're done all of this, we could finally write our closing statement. Therefore, the net force of the system is approximately 311.2 newtons down and the acceleration is approximately 58.72 meters per second down. And that's the question.